From the IHLS studios in Tel Aviv, this is Homeland Security Weekly Report. Hello and welcome to the Weekly Report, brought to you by Israeli Homeland Security. A ransomware type virus took over the computer system of one of Israel's TV channels last week. The malicious program encrypted all of the system files, demanding a 400 euro ransom in order to unlock them. The virus apparently infiltrated the system through the computer used by the channel CEO. IT personnel eventually took care of the problem without any significant loss of data. A new research found that video surveillance cameras and analytics are increasingly being used in perimeter security applications. According to recent forecasts, the global market for intelligent devices and perimeter security applications will top 300 million in 2016. Israeli experts told IHLS that video systems and analytical systems are the fastest growing segment of the perimeter security market. These analytical tools are now seen as an integral part of any video security system. Israel is currently evaluating an unmanned ground vehicle equipped with non-lethal weapons. This robotic vehicle's job is to hold intruders back until human security guards arrive and make sure that they aren't a threat. In emergencies, they can also use forceful means to subdue their intruders. An American surveillance UAS based on Israeli design has been intercepted by Russia while flying over the Ukrainian region of Crimea. The Russians intercepted the aircraft after breaking into its communications link, bringing it down almost intact. Russian sources claim that the drone belonged to the 66th American Reconnaissance Brigade based in Bavaria. The intercepted UAS is the RQ-5 based on the Hunter UAS developed by Israeli Aerospace Industries. Thank you for watching our weekly report. See you next week at the same time, same place, and click here to read up on the latest news. Bye-bye.